Welcome, Agent. Welcome to Boot Camp, Recruit. I'm Sergeant Wheeler, and I'm here to teach you all you'll need to know to become an elite member of our Cyber Warfare Unit. Your recruitment officer told me you've got a decent head on your shoulders, and I'm here to find out whether or not that's an accurate assessment. I sure hope you don't disappoint. We only take the best at Night Team 4. Night stands for Network, Intrusion, and Technical Evaluation. Your task is to identify, infiltrate, and gather intelligence from computer systems used by enemies of the Black Watchmen. Governments are short on time and resources, so it's up to us to take action. We address imminent global threats that can't wait for bureaucracy. Because we're a covert organization operating outside the rules of engagement that govern our allies, intelligence agencies around the world seek our help. Before we cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war, you have some training to do. Ready for the challenge? Then let's lock in. Select the Stinger OS Basics certification in the panel on your left. That will bring up an information screen on your right. Then click Access Certification to begin training. Good luck, recruit. The Stinger operating system is our own cyber warfare and network intrusion platform. It's a beautiful piece of software built by combining the most advanced open source hacking modules from civilian and military sources. If you've experienced any penetration testing platforms like Kali or Metasploit, you'll recognize similarities. Zoning out already? Okay, I know most of you have the attention span of a goldfish when it comes Com check, 1127. Hey, this is Agent Dylan. I'll be your wingman during training. Word of advice, it's always the know-it-alls who make the biggest mistakes. And we can't afford mistakes, so keep a level head. As Wheeler explained, you're starting basic and building up from there. Go to the information gathering menu on your left and launch the fingerprint module. Drag the window around a bit and uh, complete the test by typing the command help. Easy, right? <laughs> Gathering module initiated. Excellent! You can listen and follow basic orders. That's not as common as you'd imagine. The Stinger OS lets you access resources from other divisions within the Black Watchmen. Division 40 is in charge of IMINT, the Imagery Intelligence section, and MASINT, the Measurement and Signature Intelligence. They provide you with satellite feeds and drone coverage during operations. You can access these services at the bottom of your screen. Division 40 is the fourth icon from the left. Click it and enter the following coordinates. 38 latitude, minus 77 longitude. Once you activate the satellite, click the back to globe link to end your task. Drone and imagery intelligence active.
Nice! Before completing the certification, I want you to check out your agent profile. It's at the top left of your Stinger OS. Change your avatar and return here to finish this certification. I'm impressed. Agent Dylan seems keen to train you. He must see some potential. All right, you've completed your first certification. You have another 29 left. You don't need to do it all, but if you are curious, you're welcome to dive in. Not all certifications are about command lines and typing text. Our work also involves other forms of investigation like digital forensics or signal intelligence. We'll learn them soon enough, but you have to master the command line first. It's a standard weapon and a valuable one. Some of this may already be familiar, but it never hurts to recap. Man, I love this part. It's fun to see what you newbies are made of and separate the wheat from the chaff. Right, domain name reconnaissance. You'll need the DNS and vhost mapping module, which you'll find in the information gathering menu. The first command you've got to learn is the S fuzzer. S-Fuzzer launches a good old-fashioned dictionary attack against the domain name, trying thousands of the most common subdomains used on the net. If you S-Fuzz a domain name like nightteam4.com, the dictionary will first try the obvious www before moving on to other subdomains like mail, ftp, or extranet.nightteam4.com. Each time a domain name answers positively to an S-Fuzzer request, it will show as active, since that's all automated, you just need to decide how long to run the dictionary attack. The longer you run it, the more words it tries, and the more potential access points you gain. Remember, the attack always starts with the most common words. 10 to 20 seconds is a good enough benchmark for easy targets. Well, what are you waiting for? You're the one who needs to get certified, not me. Open that DNS and vhost module and launch a 10 second dictionary attack on the domain name nightteam4.com. If you get stuck, follow the instructions on the terminal. Information gathering module initiated. Another way of finding domain names is through a search engine's database, like Google, Yahoo, Bing, and the likes. Ask Jeeves isn't as useful anymore. Sometimes a search engine will accidentally index a private subdomain because of an oversight, leaked reference, or careless third party. We're here to take advantage of that mistake. I want you to use the osintscan command on nightteam4.com and specify a database to look through. To look through Google Database, you will type dash s google.com. To ask for the first 500 results in the search engine, you simply add dash d 500. So your final command will be osintscan dash s google.com dash d 500. If you get stuck, the instruction should help. Gathering module 
initiated. work. You know what you have now? The expertise to quickly identify potential entry points in an enemy network. You have the keys to their house. Of course, once you're inside the house, you'll need a new strategy. There's one last trick to the OSN scan command. Sometimes a server can host multiple domains. Though one domain could be protected, another could be vulnerable. IP addresses are unique numbers that identify internet servers, and if you search by IP, you'll find all domains and subdomains present on that server. This doesn't just locate entry points. It helps discover links between organizations, like a supplier or a sister company that shares the same server. Right, let's finish up. Execute an OSN scan on our IP address, 98.124.199.93. Information gathering module initiated. You're almost there, only a few more steps until we give you access to more powerful modules. We need to know you're comfortable with a sidearm before handing you a grenade launcher. So let's finish the basics. This next- Time to play around with the tools you've learned. I've set up various subdomains on 194.com and I want you to test out different S5- Information gathering module initiated. I want you to see the difference between an S fuzzer and OS int scan attack. Run.
Excellent! Time for a little test. I've hidden the subdomains for... how far you've come. Glad to see your recruitment officer is right. It won't be long until we turn you into an excellent agent. Okay, back to work. After you find a network's footprint, you'll need to scan for applications or services. Time to learn more about our target. Fingerprint commands are pretty straightforward. To scan the www sub... Information gathering module initiated. We're running an Apache server on port 80 for a... now realize it's possible. With information on your target's domain, subdomain, port, and software, you can now determine the best way to infiltrate their network. The fingerprint tool may flag up vulnerable technology, but you still need to know how to exploit that weakness. Your Stinger OS has- Let's start with a normal attack vector. Pull up your DNS and vhost mapping and fingerprint modules to find a- Information gathering module initiated. Information gathering module initiated.
done. Let Information gathering module initiated. Awesome. Let's go for information gathering module initiated. Well, well, Recruit, looks like you're about to complete basic terminal operations. What better way to end than a chance to play with the infamous Fox Acid server? Developed by the NSA for their Tailored Access Operations Unit, Fox Acid orchestrates automated exploits with multiple applications. The original version was mostly used for inbound queries, a visitor had to call the Fox Acid server to get infected. Our upgrade comes with thousands of outbound automated exploit scripts, so we can now actively attack a target instead of waiting for them to come to us. You're almost done. You know the drill. Find a vulnerable entry point for the domain Cyberdyne Group. Information gathering module. In information gathering module initiated. Information gathering module initiated. This is it. Final stage of your basic training. Open your Fox Acid server and enter all the attack parameters you saw in the CVE records. Take your time. Fox Acid server connection initiated.
Fox acid attack launched. Fox acid attack successful. Connection completed. To whom it may concern, it is with great pleasure that I, Sergeant Catherine Wheeler, recommend Agent 7491 for the rank of Security Analyst Level 1. After successfully completing the basic terminal operations training with speed and finesse, this agent is now ready for active duty. I hereby request that we grant access to our Advanced Training Certification and Mission Center. I stand in strong belief that Agent 7491 will be a reliable addition to our organization and wish them a long and successful career in the agency. Respectfully, Sergeant Catherine Wheeler. Team 4 has partnered with the U.S. government to operate the Turbine Platform. This platform is an automated management and control system for a large and dynamic network of implants. When a malware is deployed, it's automatically registered as what we call a Turbine C2 card. C2 stands for Command and Control. It's basically a registry of backdoors we've secured to various networks. Each Turbine C2 card has its own operation ID and authorization code. Think of it as a Rolodex of covert access into a wide variety of networks. Four hours ago, someone activated a piece of Night Team 4 malware known as Blood Dove without a valid operation ID. The deployment was unauthorized and unrelated to any ongoing or sanctioned missions. Your mission objectives are connect to the Castle Ivy Turbine C2 card, use the WMI scanner to locate any local share folders, Use the password attack tools to gain access. Locate the copy of our Blood Dove malware. Oh wow, your first mission. This is exciting. Sergeant Wheeler's briefing was pretty straightforward, but if you have any issues with your file browser and password attack tools, you can always come back to the academy and complete your digital forensics training. Good luck, make me proud.